Hey friends, thanks for tuning in to my channel. I'm Vishali, I love to share mom-related content, motherhood, organization, and minimalism. You like that? Yep, I came up with that one all on my own. Anyway, we're a family of six and we've always lived in fairly small spaces. As a result, we're constantly working towards more of a minimalist lifestyle because we simply don't have the space to house a ton of stuff. I also hate the look and feel of a cluttered home. Now, I would say we're minimalists, but we're a work in progress. There's a kids are still young, so that means a lot of toys. So yeah, our house isn't exactly empty, but it is tidy, and we do try to only keep things that we love and actually use and value. So today I want to share six things I no longer buy, and maybe you'll consider giving up these items too if you haven't done so already. Number one is kitchen gadgets. I did a major declutter of my kitchen years ago and got rid of all these single taskers, like a melon baller or an egg cracker. Yep, that's right, I had a gadget to help me crack an egg. Yes, I know, completely useless, and it's now gone. Now, I only buy and keep items in my kitchen that serve multiple purposes, and ones that I use a lot. If it's not getting used, it gets donated. What this has done is that it's given me a ton of space to properly organize my kitchen. If you want to know how I've organized every cabinet and drawer in my kitchen, check out my Clear the Clutter membership. I've linked it in the description box down below. In this membership, not only will I show you what I've done, but I'll also give you other ideas and guide you through the entire process, step by step, room by room, so that you can get your entire home fully decluttered and organized. I'll then teach you all of the systems that you can put in place so that you're not spending hours cleaning and can easily maintain your organized home. All right, on to item number two, bathroom products. That's right, I no longer wash my hair or myself anymore. My kids are filthy because we simply refuse to buy shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Obviously, that's not what we've decided to do. But what I have done is buy these products in bulk and then I pour them into matching bottles. This keeps my bathroom looking neat and almost spa-like. I also don't have three different bottles of shampoo in my bathroom anymore. It's better for the environment and everything is neater. It really is a win-win. I'll link some of the bulk products I use in the description box down below. The third thing I don't buy anymore are fast fashion or trendy clothing items. Or at least I try very hard not to. I also try to stick to neutral colors when purchasing clothes for the entire family. Though, my eldest daughter Isha does love pink and purple, so I do get her some of that for her wardrobe, and the boys love blue and red, so I do give them that. And I must admit that sometimes it really is hard to resist certain trends. So the one rule I do stick to is that if I decide to buy new pieces of clothing, clothing for myself, I have to remove something from my closet and donate it. It was a lot of work for me to create a capsule wardrobe and continues to be a work in progress, so I really don't want things to get out of control again. You can learn a bit more about my capsule wardrobe process in this video. I also try to maintain capsule wardrobes for my kids because it makes things so much easier to manage. I shared all about that process in this video. In Clear the Clutter, we also declutter and organize the closet together. We'll cover capsule wardrobes and I'll help you tackle this overwhelming space. So remember to check out the link in the description box down below. On to the fourth item, cleaning products. I used to have the largest collection of cleaning products imaginable. I just buy anything and everything, thinking that that would make it easier to clean my house. Well, let me tell you, that wasn't the case at all. Instead, it just made things more complicated, I had more products to store and organize, and it made me even less motivated to clean. What I ended up doing was figuring out which products and tools I love to use. I made sure they were effective, and when possible, I I tried to choose more natural and less toxic products. I then put together cleaning caddies and cleaning guides for my entire house. Every room has its own guide that ensures that I'm thoroughly and effectively cleaning the space. Now I can easily clean any room in my house. And though our house does get messy, we do have four children, five if you include my husband, however it's quick and easy to clean. I have schedules and guides that I follow, and because I've figured out which products to use, it's made things much more 
more efficient and effective. In CTC, I'll share all of these schedules and guides with you once we've fully decluttered and organized the home. It's essential that we declutter and organize first in order for these schedules and guides to work well. You'll be able to simply download, print, and use my guides. But I'll also teach you how to modify them so that they suit your home and your schedule. We all have different homes, different schedules, and we may like different products. So it's important that we create customized schedules and guides in order for them to be effective. Anyway, the point I was trying to make is that streamlining the cleaning products that I do use has made it easier to clean my house. You don't need a million products to have a clean house. So take a look at what you're using and see if you can simplify your cleaning products and tools. Item number five is sale or clearance items. The old me would just shop for the sake of it, not because I actually needed something. I would look through sale and clearance racks and just pick up random things because they were a great deal. Or if I was shopping online, I looked through the clearance and sale items and just add to cart. I figured I was saving money, so why not? But in reality, I was just accumulating a bunch of stuff that I simply don't need. Buying all this stuff would make me happy in the moment and a little while afterwards, but this feeling never lasted and I'd soon be looking for the next new shiny object. It's never going to end. We're always going to want more and more. And in the end, all we're doing is cluttering up our homes and making it more difficult to keep them clean and organized. So now I never shop just for the sake of it. If I need something for myself or one of my family members, then I'll search online for it and buy what we actually need or truly want. If it's an amazing deal, then I might buy a few different sizes because I know that my kids will eventually grow into it. And since I have four kids, sometimes I need to take advantage of this. But I've also noticed that regardless of what I want or need, I can usually find it on sale. The online market is huge, so there's really no need to hoard products that are on sale. There will always be a sale and you'll be able to find what you need when you actually need it. And even if you have to pay regular price when the time comes, it's very likely that you'll be saving money when compared to buying a ton of clearance items that you may or may not use. The sixth item I no longer buy is a ton of makeup products. Years ago, I was really into YouTube makeup videos and if a YouTuber said it was the best product ever, I had to have it. I didn't realize that they might have been getting paid to promote these products and I soon had drawers full of makeup. When I decided to declutter and get rid of so many products that I wasn't using and probably would never use, I felt so guilty. What a waste of money. But once it was gone, I felt relieved and quickly forgot about all of that makeup I had accumulated. Now, I won't buy another foundation, lipstick, blush, or skincare product until I finish the one I already have. I'll then do some proper research before I purchase a replacement. This has made it so much easier to keep my makeup and skincare products organized. I can also do my makeup more quickly since I don't have to waste time deciding which shade of lipstick to use. I kept my favorite ones, so regardless of which one I pick, I'll be happy with it. I also used to try to find dupes for different high-end products products. Again, thinking I was saving money, but I'd only end up with three or four dupes that weren't as good as the high-end product. I've also since realized that makeup tends to last for a very long time. So even if it costs a bit more, it doesn't really matter because it's not something you need to purchase regularly or in bulk. So if there's a high-end product that you like and you don't already have a drawer full of this product, treat yourself to it. I'd rather have one lipstick that I love than 10 that I think are just okay. There are are a ton of other items that I no longer buy, but I value your time and I don't want to keep you here forever. So I will definitely do more videos like this to help encourage you to buy less because we truly don't need all of this stuff that we're constantly accumulating in our homes. It's horrible for our environment. It's making our homes cluttered and disorganized. And we're all using all of our time and hard earned money to buy these things that we don't even need or love. Also, I would love to know what items you've stopped purchasing so that maybe I can reconsider more of the items in my home. I would love to further minimize. So please comment down below and let me know what you no longer buy. I really hope that you got something out of this video. If you have, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post my next video. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye. and I'm the founder of Tiny and Tidy. 
I'm a teacher, organizer, and mom of four. My family and I became aware of the minimalism movement back in 2016, and since then we have completely transformed our lives. We realized that our problem wasn't that we didn't have enough space, it was that we had too much stuff. I've always been an organized person by nature, but over the years I've learned a ton about minimalism, decluttering, and organization, and I have taken our home to a whole new level. Doing this has changed our lives, and now I want to help you do the same. Imagine being able to walk into a clutter-free home, one where every space is perfectly organized and has an easy-to-maintain system in place.